And for more on the immigration debate taking place here in Washington this week, we're joined now by one of President Trump's main allies in Congress. He's Republican Senator David Perdue of Georgia. Senator Perdue, thank you for joining us. Welcome back to the program. I think my first question to you is how worried should DACA recipients like young uh, Alex Zazueta, the young man we just heard from, how worried should they be about their status? Well, I'm hopeful that, uh, that we're going to have a solution for them uh, this week. The president wants the same thing that they're talking about. Uh, you heard in that clip, uh, Judy, that this individual, and what a great story that is, wants certainty for his future. How can you argue with that? Well, the president has offered that, um, actually going beyond what uh, was a, a originally being negotiated. But what he's also said is he wants to eliminate the situation that caused this problem in the first place. We don't want to be back here in five years doing the same thing again for a new wave of people, young people, who were brought here illegally. And so that's what this is about. And I think this president's plan, the bill we have, the Succeed and Secure Act, actually does that. As I understand it, though, Senator, right now there are not the votes to support uh, the president's plan. What, what do you see the prospects for it right now? Well, here are the prospects. I mean, we've had 30 years of debate on this thing. Um, we've had Democrats and Republicans at various points in, the, in uh, time actually support the principles laid out by the president in this bill. We've had actually tonight even late coming support for this, uh, this bill. And I, I have to tell you, Senator Alexander and Senator Isaacson today have, in, or just tonight, have endorsed this bill. And I think that's a great watershed of what's to come overnight and tomorrow. These are two very well thought of individuals here. I respect both of them immensely. And they were involved in a bipartisan effort trying to reach a solution to this thing. And they've come back and said, this is the plan that they think meets the need. We've had the DHS endorse this. Of course, the president endorses this bill. What we're hopeful of is when these other things are looked at in the light of day, that we'll see that this, this plan that the president has laid out and we have in this bill actually meets the needs of what the Democrats have been asking for, actually. Well, it's my understanding, I think, and what I've been, uh, been told, Senator, in the last few days, is that where the support, there's greater support right now for two parts of what the president wants, and that is doing something for these DACA recipients and doing something about border security, maybe doing something about the visa lottery. The greater difficulty is coming with a decision about how to handle uh, the family migration question. Yep. Is there give both on the president's side uh, and on the as well as on the other side that do you th that you think could bring the two sides together But it would require give on both sides Judy I think you've characterized this extremely well better than most people have that I've heard today And I think it what you're showing showing is that three of the four principles the president is talking about have general agreement the one on the family base, I think, has room in there on both sides where we can actually get the solution that we're all looking for, and that is to create an end to the environment that incents people to bring their young children in here, that created the DACA situation in the first place, and also ends the loopholes in here that create the opportunity for terrorists to use our immigration system against us. I would love to see our legal immigration system, Judy, that brings in 1.1 million immigrants today. And by the way, that's up some four or 500,000 just in the last few years. But we only bring in 70,000 of the 1.1 today related to what we call the EB programs, the work program. So they're, they're qualified workers coming in. Another 70,000 is their spouse and immediate children. Right. 100, 150,000, Judy, are uh, refugees and uh, asylum seekers. And the other 800,000 are legacy derivative family uh, immigration uh, uh, sponsorees, and that's what we want to look at. Places like Canada, Australia use more of a point-based system, and we would entertain potentially bringing more workers in under that format. So I guess one of my bottom line questions is, is there give, do you believe, in the president's position, your position, that would mean you might not fully do everything that the president wants to do right now with regard to these families, but that would end up protecting these DACA recipients, or is the president so wed to getting all four, as he calls it, pillars of this plan, uh, that even if that means the DACA recipients get deported, uh, that's the way it is? I think this president's been very clear for a long time about what his, uh, his uh, position is. He wants a solution to the problem that caused the DACA situation. He wants the DACA situation solved. He's gone farther than any Republican ever thought that he would. We support that, those of us that are sponsoring this bill, and we believe there's enough commonality in this Senate 
that if they'll look at these different principles that, they're, that we'll be able to get to a common solution. To answer your question, I think we do have some room on the worker uh, part of the family-based uh, system, but not just for the dog. You can't do what some proposals are, are coming out with now, talking about, well, we'll, we'll just protect uh, we won't let the DACA kids do that. Well, that's not going to solve the problem that we have. So I think there's room in there yet, but the, the president's been very clear. He wants these four pillars in this solution. Well, yeah, we know there's not agreement yet, but we know uh, you all will continue to work on it for the next uh, day or two. And we will be watching very closely. Senator David Perdue, thank you. Thank you, Judy.